Too much tea leads to complete tooth loss, gum and heart disease linked, and a handpiece with a built-in LED. Hi, I'm Allie Cook for the Dental News Network. Today is April 10th, 2013, and this is your Wednesday Watch. Here is today's dental news. A woman has lost all of her teeth and has developed a bone condition from drinking too much tea. The New England Journal of Medicine reports that the 47-year-old's habit of drinking one pitcher a day made from at least 100 tea bags has led to skeletal fluorosis. This is caused by high levels of mineral fluoride in the strong beverage. In fact, her fluoride levels were four times higher than normal. According to the journal, she has stopped drinking tea and is expected to make a full recovery. More support for the link between poor oral health and medical issues. A new study suggests that tooth loss and gum disease increase the risk of heart disease and diabetes. In the first study of its kind, Swedish researchers found that missing teeth increase the levels of an enzyme that increases the risk of inflammation and hardening in the arteries. Also, for every missing tooth, the risk increased, with new risk factors added on. These include high blood pressure, bad cholesterol, and increased circumference of the waist. Coming up, what to expect from Dentistry Today's coverage of the CDA meeting and a high-speed handpiece with a built-in LED. The CDA Presents meeting in Anaheim starts tomorrow. For those of you who can't make it, stay tuned to our homepage to see Dentistry Today's coverage of the event. You can see videos of all the hottest products being introduced in Anaheim this week, as well as some updates on some familiar classics. The Airlite High Speed Handpiece incorporates a high efficiency built-in microgenerator to power its LED, eliminating the need for a fiber optic system for your dental delivery unit. Simply attach the air light to any of your existing four, five, or six hole handpiece tubing and you can get the brightest LED illumination, allowing clearer and wider illuminated operative fields. Thanks for checking out the Wednesday Watch. We'll see you next week with more from Dentistry Today and DNN.